welcome back to LS Text. Today I'm going to show you how to get SkyQ on Kodi. SkyQ is the new Skybox in the UK, which is the updated version. So this is the interface you get with SkyQ. So you got live TV, you got movies, music, and sports. So I'm just going to go to live TV and show you guys that this works. So let's pick ITV. Let's just pick ITV one straight away. Click on it. So sometimes they may, okay, that was quick loading, but sometimes they do take a bit of time to load, so you just want to wait for that. But as you can see, it's working, so I can go back, I can go down to movies, hit on movies. Let's pick one, okay, let's just go down to most, most popular movies. can see they just show up here so I can just click on the Star Wars if I want to or just anything and it's just gonna load up it's just gonna take a few seconds sometimes it may take a minute to load up but they will load up so you can see we've even got a HD version for Sky Wars so that's really great if I hit on it it's gonna load up now as you can see guys take a second or two It's playing as you can see guys so we just want to click back menu now so it goes back you can go down to sports and music as well so let's just try a sports channel oh yeah that was sports click on sports and we see got we got loads of different sports here so I'm just going to click Champion Sports, just one of them. And then I can pick like any Sky's channel, any sports channel I want. So let's click on this one. Let's see if any Spanish leagues are playing today. Let's give it a sec for it to load up. I'm just going to click on the first one. click okay as you can see it's loading now let's give it a second or two it's gonna load up and it's playing as you can see finish up so as you can see it this work guys I'm just gonna cancel this now go back you can pick anything you want guys so that is just how the Sky QHD box looks like. So you can download more things, add on movies, it's really great to use guys. So yeah guys, now I'm going to show you how to do this. Now I'm going to show you how to do the installation. So you want to open your code here. And then you want to go to System. Then you want to File Manager. Then you want to add Source. And where it says now you want to click Enter. Now you want to enter this code, well this link, I'll put this link in the description as well so you can have, have a look at it, it's http column forward slash forward slash a e r s w i z a uh, D and it's dot co dot uk so co dot. okay so you just want to make sure it's right so I'm just going to leave it up for a second you guys can have a look just want to hit enter come down give it a name so I'm just going to call it give it a dot so it will come first in the list when I search for it later onwards follow this so yeah then you want to hit done you want to go back now and then you want to go to systems 
go down to add-ons. You want to go uh, install from zip. Then you want to find it at the top here. So if you can see, there should only be one zip file inside. So that's easy. So you just want to click on that, and let it run. Let's give it a sec. It will go. Now you want to go back after it's done. Okay, so now you want to go to programs, hit on that, go down to program add ons. You want to find a receive, which is at the top. You want to click on it, it's just going to do some loading, installing. So go quick, might take 30 seconds or more. Just wait, it will load up. Just give it a sec or two. Just going to wait. Okay, as you can see, it's loaded up now. So, what I want to do is as you can see at the top, I got browsable browser add-on. So I'm going to click on the first one, first option. Click on it, and it load up. So I want to go down here to Pulse. Okay, so that's number second for me now. Let's lose the other ones, but we just want to hit on the Pulse. Click on that. It's going to go, ask you to go to this website. So we're going to say Get Code. Okay, guys, the pin is going to be different every time, so you want to make sure you go and do it properly. So mine is six one five three. So just want to hit done and I'm inside now. So if I scroll down now, I can see I've got the sky queue down here as you can see. So I want to click on that. Hit install. So let it do its job. It's gonna take a two or three seconds, so let it go. Okay guys, as you can see now it's done and now it wants me to as if I want to back up the skin so I just want to hit yes just in case. So let it quickly do that. This may take a minute or so, so just wait. Okay guys, now it's done and now it's asking you to close down codes, you want to do that. Just let it close down. What I recommend is do is to pull out the power plug from your Android TV box and reconnect it. Just for safety reasons, I'm just going to do that. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using the A-Box A3. I'll leave a link in the description. It's like my favorite Android TV box. It is extremely powerful, guys. So yeah, please do check that out in the link and unboxing videos of that. Okay, so I'm going to open Cody again now. and it should work sky and I'm inside now as you can see where we were before we just got all the movies TVs everything here so as you guys see that was just my video on how to get sky Q on your Android TV box Thank you for watching the video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this guys, thank you.